Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about saturation and decrease in demand. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, is it true that the demand for developers is decreasing and that the saturation of developers is going up in the industry? And the short answer is yes and no. What I mean by that is basically that it is true that there is a saturation of developers, but it's not true that the demand is falling because there is a, a general misunderstanding from people who are not working as professional developers. Let me explain. So what I will argue to you is that when somebody says, I need a programmer, what they're actually saying is that I want a programmer who can do the job that I want to be done. That's what they're actually saying. And if we go one further, there are more companies even stating that I want a rock star programmer. Now, what they are asking for when they say that I want a rock star programmer is that they're asking for an individual that is so engaged and trained that they can practically be considered someone who has a lifestyle. In essence, what they're looking for is someone who has a lifestyle of programming. And these people are not the people who are saturating the market. The people who are saturating the market are the bootcamp developers because it takes a lot of effort and a lot of practice to get to a point where you are so good at programming, or at the very least, you are so proven within programming that people will consider you to be a rockstar programmer or a senior developer or whatever term where you're gonna use in order to describe what is essence a very skilled programmer. Because that's the, I hope that if, the, if you read between the lines with me, that's what's actually in demand here. Nobody's out there on the job posting stating that we're looking for a rookie programmer or we're looking for a really shitty programmer that we can pay so that, and then of course train as well so that they can finally get all the skills that they need and then we can make some money for them and then we still risk that they're gonna go somebody somewhere else. That's not what they're looking for. What they're looking for is, as I said, someone who's literally so good that they can practically not train them at all. They're just gonna be productive on the first day, if at all possible. Now that, my friend, is a scarce resource. That is a scarce human resource. It is so scarce that it's almost impossible to find such a person. It is easy, it is damn easy to find a person who knows some basic programming. Just to give you an example, when my company goes through the process of trying to hire a single developer, they we average about a hundred applicants, roughly, maybe between a uh, hundred and two hundred applicants per position. That's how many people and discussions and CVs and so forth my manager goes through in order to find one person. Now think about that number for a moment. That literally means that for, let's just assume as well that there are some personal aspects. So let's say that a few of them are actually skilled enough that they could, in theory, make it to the technical interview. Because these people, you may think that, oh, they just didn't pass the code interview, all these other checks that companies do as standard practice today. That's not the case. These people didn't even make it into the office because their CVs that they submitted are so below what we expect a, a professional program to be, uh, to the skill level we expect to be much higher that that's not even worth them coming in because they're not going to be able to make the cut. So the yes that I can give you to this answer is that yes, there is a saturation of programmers, but it's a, 
it's a disturbance, I would say, rather than a problem. It's a disturbance because if you have hundreds and hundreds of developers who go out and think that, oh, I'm ready now to start working at Google or I'm ready now uh, to make a large income or salaries and all this good stuff. If they believe that that's true after one boot camp or just a few weeks of personal training, then that's that it's an unrealistic situation or it's an unrealistic unre expectation on their part, but they still apply for the jobs. And that saturation, all it really does is that it take, makes it more problematic to hire good people. It just takes longer, but they're still not going to make the cut because where the company isn't, as I said, not looking for someone who can't basically do no coding whatsoever and needs a lot of training. They're looking for somebody who is practically already trained. And these people are rare. They're rare as, yeah, I'm just gonna say, leave it there. It's not in a city where the demand is just increasing. That's the no part of the answer. So I, I'm not saying that that we won't see declines in the demand for um, software developers at some point. But there is no risk at this point for a professional grade software developer to go without a job. It's a, the, the, if we're like just talking globally here, region, it might be very different. But globally, there is a lot of opportunities available to you if you really know your stuff. So what I want you to take away from this is that there is a saturation coming and it's already here I would say for software developers and that saturation is practically that there's a lot of people who have some basic understanding or self-taught or so forth that know some stuff about programming but they are, haven't, haven't reached a point where most companies feel comfortable hiring them and that's the thing that dictates if there's going to be a problem with saturation or not because even if you have a lot of people who have some basic coding skills, they're not actually applicable to take most of the jobs, which means that they're not actually competing for the jobs. They think that they are, but they're not really. They're just slowing. For most companies, it's just going to take longer to go through all the applicants. In fact, an entire another industry has spawned up around the fact that it's such a problem to find developers that you can now hire people who are basically just going to try to find them for you. But that's still, it's still a slow process. The other part of the answer is that there is an enormous and increasing demand for professional grade software developers. And it's probably not going to go away anytime soon because it's easier to build, to set up a, an idea and a project and get something, get a situation where you need someone who is really good at programming than it is to find someone who is really good at programming. Ideas are plentiful, but the people with the skills to actually make them come into reality are very, very scarce. And that's probably not going to change for quite some time. Have a great day.